Can you live and survive in isolation? Just think about all the things you need to survive. All organisms, whether plants or animals, need food, a place to live and other materials like water and oxygen from the surroundings. So today, let's talk about habitat, that is, the living place of an organism, its type and its component. Everything that surrounds living things and affects their growth and development is called environment. Both living and non-living things are part of the environment. The natural surroundings where a living organism lives is called its habitat. Habitat provides an organism with everything it needs to survive, food, shelter and proper climatic conditions. Ponds, rivers, forests, deserts are some of the habitats. You will find animals like fish and plants like lotus living in a pond or river. Ants, squirrels, monkeys living on trees. Animals like camel and thorny plants in deserts. And in a forest we find a number of animals like giraffe, deer, lions, birds, snakes, etc. and also a number of trees. Living things live on land, in water or on trees. Based on this, habitats are of the following types. Terrestrial habitat. It consists of habitats on land like mountains and grasslands, forests and deserts. Organisms that live on land like horse, pig, cow, hen, etc. are terrestrial organisms. Aquatic habitats include habitats in water like ponds, lakes, rivers and oceans. Organisms that live in water like fish, lotus, water hyacinth, etc. are aquatic organisms. Arboreal habitats include habitats on trees. Organisms that live on trees like monkeys, lizards, etc. are arboreal animals. Birds have aerial habitat as they use the sky or air for their activities. Some animals like frog, toad, crocodile live both on land and in water. They are called amphibians and the habitat is called amphibious habitat. A habitat consists of two main components. The living components, also called the biotic components, include plants and animals. The non-living components, also called the abiotic components, include soil, rock, air, water, light and temperature. So children, can you guess by now as to which habitat you belong to? Well, you can also check our other lessons through the links given on the screen. Thank you.